So here with Darren Sahl, uh very hard fought one nil victory at Boreham Wood. Just quickly, we were doing the stats. Working haven't won here for ten years. I don't think Boreham would have been beaten here in the league for this season. Player sent off. Yeah. You must be pleased with. Not with the player sent off. I'm not, uh, <laughs> no, no, sorry. But I, I like <laughs> what I liked about Rowan was Rowan was always. Uh, I didn't think his first one was a booking. I thought his second one was. Um, but the referee was too happy to do that all day. I mean, it got embarrassing at the end, really. Um, but what I was really happy with Rowan is that he wanted to move forward and he wanted to engage. And we have a very simple process in my defending strategy, which is we either stop it at source or outcome. So we either stop it early or late. But we have to stop it. And what I liked about Rowan is that he got off his heels and he went and he wanted to try and stop it. And he will get better at that the more he works with me and Ian. Um, and, um, and, uh, and that will add to his game. Because I thought Rowan was fabulously dynamic today. Him and Solomon were very, very dynamic. So I, I thought there were some good things there. I thought we were a better team for the, for the whole game. You know, I, 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 there's, there was no doubt to me that it was coming. Some of the quality from Kretschmar and, um, and Johnson was fabulous. League quality, not National League quality, Football League quality. So that was, um, that was really pleasing. Like I said, I'm very pleased for everyone. And the first half was a battle. We probably edited it, but it was a battle. And then the second half, we began to have a lot more joy going forward, really, don't we? Yeah, uh, whenever, you know, we, we had a shape that we wanted to cross. We wanted to have wide players that were going to cross. We wanted centre-forwards in the team like Oakley and Nephi Ong that were going to be an aerial threat. So you've got to get the wide players the ball. And fortunately, when you play the shape we did today against their shape, the flank positions can become exposed. And um, I thought they were very good. I thought the timing of Casey and Long King's uh, support was fabulous. And even for the penalty, the timing of Johnson's run, the la- lateness of it and how quick it was, was was the reason why he couldn't move. Will Evans couldn't have done anything else there. If he had let him go past, he'd have had to just take the goal. And what impressed me after the sending off, I suppose the textbook says you defend deep and you drop back, but we kept pressing. Absolutely. It's not in my character. You know, I'm, it's not going to be like this every week. You know, we're not, we're not going to have this heroic beat your chest sort of moment and, and all, you know, think we're Churchillian and things like that. But no, my ca- attitude to defending is to move forward, like I said about Rowan. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Players are paid to tackle. It's part of football. So tackle, if you get it wrong, you might get booked. If you get it wrong twice, you might get sent But try, try, let people who spend all their week trying to um, get the remuneration required to come and watch their team an hour and a half from their house. Give them something. Give them something that says we understand, we know what you do, we appreciate it. And that's all I thought Ryan Inch would do. There'll be no, there'll be no backlash from me on Rowan Inch. Not, not a chance. No, no. In fact, I was talking to somebody. You know, he was among the candidates for man of the match. For us, you know, so uh, among a few others, I can't think of a player in a bad game. But um, talk just a little bit about the week leading up to this. It's been been good on the training pitch, and you're beginning to see something to work with. Well, this week I have. I mean, the, the key to this is trying to create a, um, a, a culture and an environment that says winning is the norm. And that's very hard to do, and that takes a long, long time. That won't take a week or six weeks. That will take six months, a year, you know. So we, there's, there's plenty more, there's plenty more uh, other types of performances that are going to come our way. It's not going to be like this every week. It, it just never is. Um, but what we need to do, we need to train properly and try and prepare ourselves to to do it as often as possible and I thought this week I, I got the sense from Tuesday uh, sorry yeah, Tuesday when they when I first met them at the training ground I made an, an assessment and an observation which I shared with them uh, and then on Thursday I thought it improved and I thought on Friday it got even better so we have been building but today has been our best day by, by a mile and you know Ian Dyer should take a lot of credit for that because Ian yes. was, was, was instrumental in the coaching practices I might be the big fist or the big stick <laughs> but Ian puts on good practices very good practices players love them so you know I, I can see why the last bit may have needed someone like my character to beat it out of them but listen, whatever we have to do to win we'll, we'll try yeah. and finally you've got a few weeks now a few more games just to sort of um, I suppose assess and yes. then 
then it's a big close season. Yeah, decision time. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I, the one thing I don't want to do, and I never do, and I've shown this with the way I've inherited staff, is that I'd I, I never like big turnovers. It's not my thing to start completely again from scratch. If the qualities and the ingredients are already in the building, let's try and work hard as a football club to keep the ingredients in the building. Sometimes you need to go outside of what you normally shop at in order to bring in a different ingredient to create a different product. So it's whatever comes first. It's really, hopefully the players all buy into it over, and it's got to be over six weeks, by the way. I'm not one of these that is going to, we're not going to be talking about this on Monday morning when we were training. That's gone. We're going to be talking about how we beat Halifax. Yeah. So that's the big thing for me and how many people can get themselves into character on a Saturday to win games that way, whatever way. Right. Thank you for your time, Darren. Well done today. Safe trip home. Thank See you, you at Halifax. Thank you. Yeah, Top match.